All right, happy Thursday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade, and we are going to get you up to date on what's happening out in the tropics. Things are fairly calm and quiet across the Gulf and for most of the Caribbean. However, we do have one system, one tropical wave that we're monitoring and another one that is expected to develop over the coming day. So let's start off with the tropical wave that we do have and it is skirting off to the north northwest. It is getting a little bit closer to Bermuda should arrive by this weekend, but you can see it is north of Puerto Rico, but it is moving away from the Caribbean islands as it is tracking off to the north northwest. So this is disturbance number one and it basically has a 40% chance of tropical cyclone formation within the next 48 hours, 40% chance for development within the next five days. So it is pushing north. It is going to come pretty close to Bermuda over the weekend. So maybe some heavy rain and some stronger wind gusts expected, but I don't think we'll have a direct landfall, but could spread some heavy rainfall and conditions appear marginally favorable for the system to possibly develop into a tropical depression, a tropical storm. Chances for a hurricane a little lower because it will be moving into some cooler waters. So that window for development on the small side. But of course, if it does develop, then we could have a few issues impacting Bermuda over the weekend. Farther south, this is the potential system we're a little more concerned about because it could get into the Caribbean and possibly get closer to the Gulf of Mexico over the next several days. So this is what we call a potential tropical disturbance and it's potential disturbance number two. That means it hasn't really developed yet. We've got a very disorganized elongated area of showers and storms down south. This is going to be north of the northern fringes of South America. You can see Caracas, Venezuela there. So this has not developed yet, but models continue to indicate that this system will likely get its act together and start developing and get going and it will likely push off to the west northwest into the Caribbean. So as far as chances for development over the next 48 hours, 0%. So we don't expect it to really do much over the next few days. But as we expand that window of time through the next five days, that chance for development jumps up to 50%. So that's a medium pretty good shot that we will have at least a tropical wave developing that could get stronger and turn into a tropical depression or a tropical storm over the coming days. So this would be just to the north of South America. It would skirt across the Central Caribbean most likely, and it could come pretty close to parts of Central America, maybe impacting Mexico. And if it took a little jog off to the north and northwest, it could get pretty close to the Yucatan Peninsula, maybe the Gulf of Mexico. So definitely something we will monitor closely. If that system did get into the Caribbean or the Gulf, we've still got plenty of warm water out there, still almost feeling like bath water in spots with those sea surface temps in the 80s off to the east of the Yucatan Peninsula into the Gulf of Mexico. Water cooling off a touch, but not much. We've still got temps close to 80 in the eastern Gulf and the western Gulf. So this is something we're watching. Of course, that warm water acts as fuel as these systems develop, and that could contribute to some rapid intensification. We've seen that quite a few times during this hurricane season. So the good news is that we are not close to having another name storm right now, but in the Atlantic Basin, if we did have another name storm, next name on the list would be Lisa, Martin, then Nicole. Then we've got several more names that we could possibly get to, but with the chances becoming lower that we'll have multiple tropical systems as we are towards the end of hurricane season, I don't expect us to get to the end of that list. Across the Eastern Pacific, not much action going on now. In fact, no tropical cyclone activity expected in the eastern Pacific over the next couple of days. But if we do get something cooking over the next week or so, the next names on the list would be Seymour, Tina, Virgil and Winifred. And we'll likely not complete this list also, but we're actually a little closer to the end with the names for the eastern Pacific because we have had quite a few systems as we've gone through this hurricane season in the eastern Pacific. But as far as the overall outlook, the climatology, we had that peak for hurricane season right at September 10th, but we have been going down the roller coaster, down the hill ever since then. So we are a few days away from November, and of course, November, the very last month that we have to worry about being in hurricane season. Hurricane season officially ends November 30th, so the chances much lower that we'll have development 
and a direct landfall across southeast Texas for many of these tropical cyclones, but it's not zero. Notice there's still some history there for some of these tropical cyclones developing late in the season during November. So of course it's something we are always watching. Fortunately, no new systems to show you today. We haven't had any new development, but of course we will continue to track that tropical wave in the western Atlantic area and the potential tropical wave that we expect to develop across the eastern Caribbean over the next five days. So that's the latest look on your tropical forecast. But of course, we've got the World Series starting here in Houston tomorrow. Game one, Philadelphia Phillies and the Houston Astros first pitch 7.03 p.m. And we've got a lot of bad weather to get through before that game. So definitely go to the App Store, grab the Fox 26 weather app, news app. You'll have a lot of useful information there, tips on things to enjoy surrounding the World Series game, tips on when the worst of the weather will come through, the timing. Of course, we are timing that out for you. And of course, if we get any alerts, any watches, warnings, because there's a threat for severe thunderstorms tomorrow, you can find all of that on the app and you can be out and about and you'll be updated. So make sure to download the Fox 26 weather app. You will definitely be glad you did tomorrow with a line of storms and heavy rain expected to build in. Also, you can check me out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram at Ramesha Shade TV for Twitter at Ramesha Shade Weather for Facebook and at Ramesha Shade for Instagram. All right, we are excited. We are just a day away from World Series action right here in Houston. So hopefully you are able to enjoy the game. Of course, coverage begins live here on Fox 26 at 5 p.m. First pitch for the game, 7.03 p.m. So enjoy yourselves, excitement building. We're hoping for a big Astros win tomorrow and stay safe. Have a good evening.